How to add Klarna to Shopify store. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about adding a third-party plugin provider called Klarna to our Shopify store, okay? And we're gonna be talking about it in great depth, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now to start things off, to actually add Klarna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your apps, and you're gonna go into all recommended apps and go over to your Shopify app store. Now, once you come over to your Shopify app store, here you're just going to simply search up Klarna so you're going to write Klarna and once you write Klarna it's going to give you all these Klarna applications just search that up and once you search Klarna basically get these different things so Klarna on-site messaging there's a Klarna creator platform and all so these are the different ways that you can add Klarna but as we can see there's no official Klarna provider right because Klarna is obviously a payment provider and uh, it's not the easiest to add this into your Shopify, right? So what is the better way to do this? So the better way, I mean, you can add the supported providers that we just saw, which are the third party plugins. And uh, they're not official, but I'm sure they do work because if there are for Klarna, I don't think they should be scams because if they were scams, they wouldn't be on the Shopify app store, meaning that they're properly verified and all. So to get this confusion outside for us, what we're going to do is we're going to just log into your Shopify, come to your settings, okay, to do this the proper way. So from here, you're going to go into payments and it should brings you to, you know, a few options that you can actually work with. So in these few options, you get payment providers, supported payment methods and manual payment methods. Now I'm going to go to providers and uh, you're obviously going to go to manage your actual providers and once you go into manage providers you're gonna go down to the third party providers now if your Klarna does not appear over here what you can simply do is you can go back and you can go into your alternative or supported providers and in your supported providers as well you can search up Klarna and there you go Klarna is gonna appear for you in your supported payment providers you're gonna choose Klarna and you're gonna see all the providers that actually give us Klarna. So there's ping pong checkout, checkout.com, Wally payments and all. So I'm going to go with ping pong checkout over here. And once you go with ping pong checkout, uh, here it says ping pong checkout, a global payment service provider strives to offer safe, convenient, professional and simple payment solutions to merchants conducting cross border business. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and click on connect, which will install this provider that gives us Klarna. Okay. And uh, once you install that provider, what's going to happen from here is we're going to click on install application and as you can click on install application basically what that will do is uh, it will give you the section where it says you are linking shopify to ping pong checkout log in with your ping pong account if you don't have a ping pong account just simply register with it the registration process is pretty simple just uh, add in a name add in your email address and all uh, then you're obviously going to add your cell phone number as well. Now, if your cell phone number does not appear over here, then obviously this will not exactly be for you. But if it does appear there, just add your cell phone number and simply click on get a verification code. So what it does is it then sends a verification code to your actual cell phone number. Make sure to go ahead with this and uh, it sent us a verification code. So I'm just going to go ahead and verify this. Uh, also, the type you could choose what place you want to use ping pong on. So ours is obviously a standalone website. So I'm going to stay on that and I'm just uh, going to go ahead and confirm my ping pong checkout. And uh, then let's see where it takes us. Now, once you've verified everything and logged in, what it will do is it will obviously take you to the main ping pong dashboard where it will ask you to add in your Klarna account. And obviously you're also going to make sure to be set it up with Klarna as well. And to be set it up with Klarna, you are going to need to make an account on Klarna.com separately. So once you create an account on Klarna, what's going to happen from there is you're going to be able to easily connect it to your ping pong checkout. And once you connect it to your ping pong checkout, what that will do is it will basically add a payment provider that allows you to, you know, take money from people and deposit it straight to your Klarna account. Okay. And uh, from your Klarna account, obviously, you can send it to wherever you want, your bank account, your credit card, you know, whatever place you want to connect it to. And the fun part and the good part about this is that when you're, you know, when you connect 
a payment provider with a supported payment method, like let's say in my case, Klarna, what happens in this case is that the person that's buying my product off of my Shopify store, they could be buying it off using their credit card or maybe they could be sending money through their PayPal and all, right? But, you know, for me, I could simply just, you know, get it straight into my Klarna. Like the money won't stay in some Shopify void. The money will be transferred to the payment providers that we've added, the supported payment method that we've added. And the money will be straight away transferred to our Klarna account. Obviously, there might be a transaction fee. It depends on the provider that you're choosing. Like uh, if we're going to go with ping pong, do make sure to check if they have a transaction fee. Most people do. But uh, yeah, it's probably not a lot. Again, you can go ahead and check different providers for Klarna as well, by the way. So you can see you have different providers. And yeah, the transaction fees are zero. So yeah, pretty easy, pretty simple, and pretty fun stuff to get your head around. So yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend just uh, choosing things through your supported payment methods. And uh, it's a pretty overall easy way to add in Klarna payment methods for yourself. So that's the general idea of it if i were to go over through all of it again there's two ways to add these uh, to add a klarna payment gateway to your shopify first of all it's the third party plugins okay and third party plugins i'm not saying they're not trustworthy but obviously it would make sense if you wouldn't trust them because it's a third party plugin that some other company has made you know it could potentially be a scam and we don't want to be scammed definitely not so to save ourselves from the scam and get rid of the scam, we should use a proper way. And the proper way would be to go into your settings. Once you go into your settings, you're going to come up to your store. Once you come to your store, go to your payments. Once you go to your payments, go to your ad payment methods. And once you go into ad payment methods, search up Klarna. And as you search up Klarna, it's going to give you different providers that you can choose from and you should be good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's the general idea of how we are going to do all of this. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.